Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Aviator Updates. If you don't know me, I am Rakesh Negi and I am an aviation enthusiast. Today we will be discussing about the electrical power distribution in aircrafts. Okay, so in this topic, we will be learning about the split bus bar system, parallel bus bar system and their combination. That is split and parallel bus bar combination. So friends, before we start discussing about this topic, let us first learn what are the uses of split bus bar system and parallel bus bar system. So, split bus bar system and parallel bus bar system. So, this split bar system, it is used in commercial aircraft which have two engines like Boeing 737, Boeing 757 or Boeing 767 and if you talk about MC Donnell, Douglas, MD-80 okay and what about Airbus aircraft? Yes, it's there in Airbus aircraft also, like we have Airbus 300, Airbus 300 and so on. Okay, so split bus bar system is used in these twin engine aircrafts. What about parallel bus bar system friends? This is used in aircraft having three or more than three engines. Okay, like Boeing 727, early Boeing 747 and what about this MC Donald Douglas here we are having this parallel bus bar system in DC-10 and M so friends this parallel bus bar system is used in these planes which are having three or more than three engines here no one point friends about 747 in early Boeing 747 parallel bus bar system was used okay but now in some modern 747s and there is 747-400 a combination of parallel and split bus bar system is used. That means all the four generators in the modern Boeing 747-400 are not connected in parallel. The left side generators and the right side generators, generators can be connected together or can be isolated from one another by using a split bus bar breaker. And that breaker is called as split system breaker or you can say SSB which we will learn about later. Now let's discuss in detail about the split bus bar system and parallel bus bar system. I'll just erase this friends. I hope you are clear with the use of parallel and split bus bar systems in different types of aircraft models. So friends, first we'll start with the split bus bar system. Split bus bar or simply split bus system. As I have told you friends while discussing about the use of split bus system is that this split bus system is used in twin engine commercial planes. That means the twin engine commercial planes obviously would have two generators, one mounted on each engine. Okay, that means there are two generators. So suppose this is one of the generator, this one marked as one and this is the other generator which is marked as two. So we have gen one and gen two. Now this generator, obviously its power supply, suppose it's running, it will develop a power supply, it will be connected by means of a breaker, which is called as the generator circuit breaker. What is this? GCB, generator circuit breaker. When this closes, it gives supply to a bus bar. Okay, suppose there's one of the bus bar. Okay. Next, likewise on this side, this generator to when it will be running by means of a Generator circuit breaker, suppose I name them as 1 and 2. Generator circuit breaker number 2 will give supply to its own side bus bar. Okay. I mean to say the left side and the right side have their own bus bars. And these bus bars, they provide supply to the loads by means of transfer bus bar. And these bus bars, they provide supply to their own loads. I mean to say the left side system will have its own bus bar to supply power to its loads. Likewise, the right side system also will have 
its own bus bar to supply its own loads. I'm going to say both the sides are segregated, okay, in normal operation. So friends, for distributing the electrical supply to the loads, what we have here is a transfer bus bar or transfer bus simply. Suppose this is the transfer bus which gives supply to the load. Okay, so likewise this side also would have a, tr a transfer bus. Transfer bus. Okay, this also can supply to the load. Right? Now, how do these transfer get the supply? These transfer bus bars get supply or electrical supply from their own side systems. Like this one will get some electrical supply from number one side or left side and this transfer bus will get supply from number two side or right hand side. Okay, so how, do, how does this get? By means of some relay which I will draw here. Okay, and this relay is called as the transfer relay. So these two are the contacts and this is the connection which I am giving it to the transfer relay. Okay, so I will draw another contact here. So this contact is connected to this main bus bar, okay, likewise. So from here the battery supply will come, okay, and this is the contact. This one is the contact which is closing this side. So from here if this generator is running, it will give the supply by means of this contactor. Okay, right now this contactor is in this position, this is called as normal position. And the low one is the abnormal position. Okay, so by default, this contact will be in which position? Normal position. Abnormal position will be used later when I'll be explaining about the abnormal in the system. Okay, and this contact is connected to this side bus bar. Okay, so from this bus bar, I am taking the supply. From here, I am taking the supply and giving to this point. So that later when this contact will shift in the abnormal position, this side bus bar can supply current to the transfer bus of number one side. Okay, and right here number one, this side as number two. So on this side, how do we get the supply? Here also friends will be having a transfer relay. I'll write here transfer relay. So this is the transfer relay. So this side also we will be having transfer relay as like this. Okay, so transfer relay is here. I am connecting it with this transfer relay. Other contact points of this transfer relay are here. And there will be a contact which will be in normal position. So this is the normal position as like this side. And these two points are representing the abnormal. Okay friends. And these two points, how they are connected? This one is connected with this bus bar okay and this point is connected with this bus bar okay friends so this is alternate now as i have shown you here two power sources we can also have apu as power source or external as the power source suppose this is the external power Okay, and this is the APU. Okay, so APU generator is also a source of power. External power is also can be the source of power on the ground. So how can the external power be connected to this transfer bus and give supply to the load? So this external power obviously will have external power contactor. External power contactor. So when this will be closed, right now it's, I'm showing it open, when this will be closed, by means of wires, this is the wire, the supply will go by means of, suppose this is a contact called as bus tie breaker, okay, and this is another bus tie breaker, this one, okay, so we have two bus tie breakers here, so this bus tie breaker it directly connects here, and obviously this side bus tie breaker also will connect here. Okay, so how does the external power give supply to these bus bars? From the external power, if this is closed, okay, supply will come like this. By means of bus tie contactor, supply will go to this side. 
and by means of this side bus tie contactor supply will go to this side so both the bus bars will be having their own supply okay and how is the apu supply connected let's discuss that also the apu supply by means of its own contactor called as apu generator breaker gb okay this will be connected here okay so suppose only apu power is on okay that time what will happen from here supply will go by means of this breaker it will go like this it will connect here both the bus type breakers will close and from here the apu supply will go to number two side and from here the bus type breaker will close and supply will go to the number one side okay so this is how the power sources supply the bus bars now let's learn how does the system operate let me first explain the normal operation of the system so in normal operation generator number one it feeds its own side and generator number two feeds its own side both the sides are independent okay why i'm saying like this is friends let's see see number one generator when it will be running by means of his generator contact breaker it gives power to the ac bus which is the main bus and from here the supply is given to the transfer bus for distribution to the load how by means of the transfer relay can you see this transfer relay yes it has normal position and abnormal position so from here from the generator number one supply goes by means of gcb1 to the main bus which is on the number one side from this main bus by means of this transfer relay normal contact supply is going and it is given to the transfer bus so friends i'm just using this black ink to represent the flow of current in normal operation so from number one generator current will flow like this from its closed generator breaker i have closed the generator breaker current will flow flow down like this it will go to to this bus and from this bus the supply will go like this like this by means of this closed contact is going and it will be given to the transfer bus which will distribute the supply to the load so this is what happens in normal operation on the number one side so likewise on the number two side when the generator number two is running the current will flow like this okay by and this should be closed gcb should be closed for the current to flow to the load so this is closed i have closed this gcb now moving ahead it will give supply to this bus bar from this bus bar the supply will be going like this like this by means of this contact which is in the normal position of this transfer relay it is going like this like this and it will be given to the transfer bus number 2 and from the transfer bus number 2 supply is given to the load so here what did we observe is friends in normal operation number one side and number two sides they are operating independently and that's what the name of the system is split okay split means they are not joined together they are independent they are separate and that's what i have shown you here in normal operation right so friends i hope you are clear with the split system explanation in normal operation okay now if suppose the external power is there so if external power is there what will happen its contactor will be closed from here the current will be flowing like this btb will close in this case okay so for the left side which is this one it will go like this and it will follow the same route as generator number 1 supply was electrical supply was following for the load to be distributed on number 1 side and what about number 2 side can it be powered with external power yes how from here the supply will go by means of this closed bus type breaker it will go like this and again the current will follow the same path as like generator number 2 electrical supply when it is on would follow for providing the electrical current supply to the load okay next what about apu if apu is on it, and its generator breaker is also closed then from apu the current will flow like this and it will follow the same path as external power used to follow for the flow of current to the left side and the right side remember that friends external power should not be available when apu current is, is to be utilized so apu also can feed left side and right side as like external power now let's discuss some abnormal condition in the split bus bar system suppose generator number 1 is lost in that case what will happen in the split bus system friends we may think that the number one node will not be having any power at all yes correct but in this situation there must be some alternate or redundancy in the aircraft and yes it's there as i have shown you here so this transfer relay which was having its contact in the normal position will shift this contact to the abnormal position this one so now when this contact has shifted from normal to abnormal what is what has happened is we know that 
number two side is still alive, right? So number two side electrical supply, which is going to the number two side load from this bus bar, okay, from this bus bar, supply is going to this side also now. How? See, the contact is already established here. And from this contact, since it has closed over here, the supply current will flow like this and it will affect to the number one side load also. That means number two side used to feed both the sides in case number one side is lost in flight, right? So in this example, which I have shown you just now, number two generator is feeding its side, okay? It's normal default side as well as the opposite side, okay? So this happens in case of failure in the split bus system. So likewise, if number two side generator would have been lost, in that case, number one generator would be feeding the other side load. How? We know, well, the number one side would obviously power its side. How about the other side? How it will power? By means of this contact. So from this bus bar, supply will go to this side also. And by means of this contact, it will give supply to the transfer bus too also. But remember that friends, in this example also, the contact in the transfer relay will shift to abnormal position. Okay, like this. So current will flow this part. Current from the number one generator main bus bar will go to number two side in which case when number two side generator fails or is lost. So friends, this is about the split bus system. I hope you are clear with this topic. Okay. So I'll quickly summarize about the split bus system. In split bus system, what we have is we have the power sources feeding their own sides, like the left side generator will feed its own side load. They have their independent loads and bus bar. Likewise, the right side generator will feed power supply to its own side load. In case of failure of any one of them, suppose number one side has failed, then number two side generator will power both the sides, okay? Opposite side, how does it feed? By means of the transfer relay. So transfer relay used to shift its contact from normal to abnormal and because of which the opposite side generator can feed this side generator load. Okay, so that's the example which I have taken for explanation. After this, we have discussed about the other side generator. If it fails, what will happen? Same thing. What will happen? If this fails, number one generator will feed supply to this side also, this side also. So friends, now let's learn about the parallel bus bar system. I'll quickly erase this. Parallel bus system. So this system is used in commercial aircraft having three or more than three engines. Suppose this is one of the generator, this is the other generator model the aircraft. This is the third one and this is the fourth one. So four generators are there, okay? So I'm just considering an aircraft having four engines. So this four generators in parallel bus bar system are connected in parallel. Or I can say they are synchronized together by means of a bus called a TIE bus. What is this called? T-I-E, TIE bus. Okay, why is it called TIE bus? Because this bus is connected to all these generators. And how are the generators connected French here? In parallel. How? Like this they are connected. So all these four bus bars are connected to the same bus bar. Okay, so friends here I'm just showing that the generators are directly connected with these bus bars. Okay, this is to make the theoretical study simpler. But in actual, you know friends, some contactors are always there in between the source and the bus bar. Okay, so between generator 1 and TIE bus, the component which are there are the generator circuit breaker, that is the GCB. Here also we will be having GCB. Here also we will be having GCB. And here also we will be having So these are the generator circuit breakers. So before the electrical supply goes from these generators to these type bus, there is a bus called as the load bus. Load bus. And here also we have 
load bus for the number two generator. What does the load bus do? The load bus used to distribute the electrical supply to the loads. So it is from this bus that the supply will be given to all the loads. So here also, likewise, here also we'll be having one load bus. Here also one will be having load bus. So we have four load buses, right? Because we have four generators, we have four load bus bars. So these load bus bars, what do they do? As I have told, they used to distribute the electrical supply to their loads, whatever they are connected to. Now, friends, you should know that these two load buses are connected together by means of a tie bus. That means there must be some bus tie contactor between them. Okay, so this is the bus tie contactor or bus tie breaker, I should say. Okay. So this is the bus tie breaker. Here also we have bus tie breaker. Here also we have bus tie breaker. And here also bus tie breaker. So all these generator circuit breakers and bus tie breakers are actually the contactors. Okay, these can carry heavy currents. Now let's discuss the normal operation of this system. Okay, when the system will be in operation, suppose generator number one is running from here the current will flow by means of its closed generator circuit breaker. So this circuit breaker used to close and when it is closed, current will flow to the load. Okay, like this, like this and it will go to the tie bus. Okay, so likewise this current will flow in other generator circuits as well. Likewise, all the four generators would be giving supply to the tie bus. Okay, since all the four sources are connected to the tie bus, so here what is most important is friends, phase and frequency of the supply these generators are producing okay all these four generators should be synchronized and yes they are synchronized by means of the tie bus as i have told that's why we say that if we compare the parallel bus bar system with split bus bar system okay the parallel bus bar system is the one which will have more operating limitations for frequencies and phases the generators are producing so friends i hope you are clear why the frequency and phase limitations are more strict in the parallel system compared to the split system so what i have explained here about the current flow is about the normal operation okay now what about abnormal operation suppose this generator fails so what will happen its load bus will it still be powered so when this generator fails its generator circuit breaker will open so this will open okay once it opens it cannot give supply to the load bus then the question is will this load bus still get the supply yes from where is because other generators are connected to the tie bus so this tie bus will give power by means of this bus tie contactor to the load bus okay if suppose this load bus is getting overloaded then what will happen this bus tie contactor will also open and this load bus will be cut off okay so this is how the overload is cut off so likewise if suppose you are having the third and fourth generator failure so what will happen these load bus bars will they still get the supply yes but from where from the tie bus so who is operating the tie bus in that case it is the generator number two so generator number two is powering the tie bus so tie bus can operate both these load bus bars okay but in this case remember that friends the load which are operated are not the normal loads only certain loads will be operated which are considered as the essential loads the non-essential loads will be cut off from the circuit in such emergency cases the same goes in the split bus bar system uh, though i haven't told you but you should know that friends the essential loads are the ones which are powered in such an emergency okay and in case of normal operations, all the essential loads as well as the non-essential loads are operated. So I'll discuss in more detail about the essential and non-essential loads in my other session. So in this session, I have just discussed about the split bus system and the parallel bus system. Okay. So friends, I'll quickly summarize the parallel bus system. So in parallel bus system, we have discussed that this system is present in commercial aircraft having three or more than three generators. I am taking the example of four generators over here. Suppose an aircraft is there having four generators. So all of them, they are connected to the tie bus. So here, since all of the four generators are connected together to the tie bus, that tie bus is also called as synchronizing bus. I hope you are clear with the terms tie bus and synchronizing bus. Next, what we have discussed is, how are the generators connected? They are connected in parallel, okay? They are hot wires. 
are connected to the tie bus. Okay. Next is what about the load bus? What is load bus? Load bus is the one which gives the supply to the load. Okay. So joint number one has, by means of a circuit breaker provides supply to the load bus one. Likewise, joint number two by means of its GCB when closed. Okay. Right here it's open. When closed, it will provide supply to the load bus which is connected to its line. Likewise, generator 3 will power its load bus and generator 4 also will electrically power its load bus. And what about these load buses? Load bus 1, load bus 2, load bus 3 and load bus 4. Are they connected together? Yes. See, they are connected together by means of the tie bus. So, since they are connected by means of the tie bus, bus tie contactors or bus tie breakers are very much important to be installed and yes, they are installed over here. So, these are also closed. Okay. So, all bus tie contactors and breakers are closed in normal operation. If suppose generator number one fails, in that case what happens friends? In that case its generator circuit breaker will open and this generator won't power the load bus. So then how will this load bus be powered? It will be powered by means of the tie bus. So likewise if any other generator fails amongst these four, the load bus will still be powered by the tie bus. Hence in parallel bus bar system, if any one generator is surviving, it can power all the load buses, okay, because of the presence of tie bus. So in such a situation when more number of generators has failed and all lesser number of generators are powering the load buses, only the essential loads will be operated or vital loads will be operated, okay, and non-essential loads will be disconnected automatically from the system. Next, since all the four generators are connected to a single tie bus, or synchronizing bus the phase and frequency of these generators are having some operational limitations okay now let's discuss about a third type of uh, bus bar system which is a combination of split and parallel bus bar system so let's start we'll quickly rub this off. so the topic name is split parallel bus system so what happens in split parallel bus system friends for explaining the split parallel system I am using the same the, uh, schematic okay which I have used for the parallel bus system so what happens in split parallel system is both these sides are connected together by means of a tie bus and this number one and number two they are connected together and number three and number four they are connected to another tie bus that means the system are segregated this way the left side and the right side these two are connected together and these two are connected together to the another tie bus that means there is a split right and why do we say parallel because they can be connected together also by means of a contactor or breaker called as split system breaker okay so this split system breaker i'm drawing it here if it closes then what happens both these can be connected together and it will behave like a single tie bus okay which is similar to the one which we have discussed in parallel bus bar system. So friends, how does the split parallel system operate? Same way, number one generator supplies this tie bus, number two generator supplies this tie bus and here you can see both of them are connected together. And on the other side, three and four, they are connected together to this tie bus, okay, as you can see, and operating their side load buses. So this side also load buses are getting operated. If suppose you lose generator number 2 and generator number 3 and 4. Will these load buses operate? This, this and this? Yes. How? This split system breaker will close. So I am closing this. So when it closes, what will happen? This number 1 generator, since it is operating the tie bus, this tie bus gets connected with this tie bus. So this tie bus will operate this load bus and the supply is going like this. It will, this tie bus will operate this load bus and this load bus by means of these bus tie contactors. So this is how the split parallel bus system operates. Why is it called split and parallel? Split because in normal operations this side and this side they are independent. This side the load bus bars and this side load bus bars they are having separate loads. That's why it is called split. And why parallel? Is because when there is any failure, any generator fails then the system will automatically connect both the tie bus bars by means of the split system breaker and the side 
in which the load bus bars were not getting the power supply from their own generators they will get supply from the tie bus bars from the alternate side okay or opposite side so friends i hope you are clear with the split bus system parallel bus system and split parallel system so friends let's discuss what is the advantage of using split system so the advantages of split bus system are that the generators they can operate more independently right that is the frequency and phase relationship for the generators need not be closely regulated whereas parallel systems require strict operating limits right it's because all the generators are connected to a single tie bus or synchronizing bus and remember friends the split bus systems which are in use or are in effect as of now are more tolerant of frequency variance so with this I would like to end today's topic. I will come up again with a new topic in my next session. Till then, enjoy learning this topic and thank you.